All right, friends, we are headed to the Delaware bins. My cart is packed. I got some snacks and I got my toll pass. So let's go thrifting. Hi friends, my name is Maria and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Kittison. And I am here, as I said, at the Delaware Goodwill outlet to do some bins shopping. I had planned to go to the Baltimore bins outlet today and I realized because I wanted to make sure they didn't change the opening time, it is closed on Sundays. So bad homework on my end. Thankfully, I figured it out before I got there. And so we audibled and I drove to Delaware. I'm headed up to Pennsylvania for a work trip this week. So it was just a little bit to the right, you know, and, and then we'll make it up to Pennsylvania after this. But I have never been to this location before. I am excited to see what I'm going to find. However, it opened four minutes ago. I had planned to get here a little bit early, but on my way out the door, my daughter wanted to play sorry, and you can't say no to that. She won fair and square, and it was absolutely worth it, but we got here a little bit later than expected. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Hit that subscribe button, and let's get digging. First things first, just trying to get the layout of the bins, trying to figure it out. I've never been to this location before, and the first thing I see is what looks like resellers with bags of clothes. So I'm trying to figure this spot out. That is new to me, but let's dive into the bins. So I'm not really sure what to expect at this location. I'm just going to get in here and see what I find. I'm, I'm not sure what to think about those bags. I have seen other resellers with um, videos like this where there's bags thrown in the bins. I just missed opening so most likely there were bags in the bins that people just grabbed and they're going to sort through them later I would assume. I'm hoping they do switch outs frequently but I am not sure. We're gonna have to stick around to find out. Nothing much right off the bat honestly at this location. I know you guys see on YouTube, you know, oh, I found this at the bins, I found this, and it's so amazing, but honestly, guys, this is what it is most of the time. It's little holes, it's, uh, you know, a lot of Target, you know, Cat and Jack, kids' clothes, Walmart, Old Navy, but then, you know, you stick around long enough and you usually find some really good things. So for me, that's worth it. I have a lot of fun doing it. It's kind of the adventure for me. All right, so it looks like every hour they switch out either the hard goods and shoes section or the clothes section. So they're doing the first hour switch out. We have to stand behind this line. And here's a few things I did find, though. These are new with tags, Helly Hansen, like waterproof rain pants that have some pretty decent comps. I also grabbed some little kids clothes that were new with tags that I love to have on hand as gifts. And a Remington kind of flannel jacket. Remington does really well for me. But here it was something I was so excited about. Beautiful Kate Spade backpack. Uh, I carried this around while I was looking through the entire hard goods rotation until I realized the staining and then the deal breaker guys. Yes, one of these straps is completely broken. This is beyond any sort of repair. So I thought I might have had a good, you know, decent find there. Probably would have sold for $50 or so, but, but no. I did find a little bit of Halloween decor for myself, some pumpkins, and you know, it's, it's Halloween is the next holiday, so that's pretty exciting. I thought about getting my kid this little Dyson toy vacuum, but it didn't end up coming home with me. All right, guys, I'm getting pretty discouraged. This is like absolutely a dud of a trip here, and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video why. Um, but yeah, wish me luck. Hope that I can find something. Found one thing, probably just because other people aren't familiar with this brand, Three Dots, but I did end up grabbing this one. 
All right, while we're waiting for the next clothing switch out, standing behind our line, I figured I'd show you guys. I did find a few more things. Um, these are some BP jeans that sold at Nordstrom. I've had decent luck with them, selling between like 20 and 25. This is a Lane Bryant top. I do like selling Lane Bryant when I can get it at like bins pricing. Here's a North Face little kid's jacket. I just thought this was fun. They switch out the entire half of the store, all of the clothing at the same time. The way they manhandled these bins where they needed to go was pretty fantastic because those things are big and heavy. Um, so kudos to the, the guys and girls that were doing this all day long. But here we are just waiting and then when they get them all in line and they say go, it is crazy town in here. So I managed to get a bag, so let's hope there's some goodies in that. And then I also got a bunch of random stuff that I need to sort that I threw in my IKEA bag. I'm just really hoping there's something worthwhile in here. First thing I found was this L.L. Bean jacket, which ended up being really nice. It is Gore-Tex. It needs a wash. It smells like it's wet. And it ended up being the only redeemable thing in the bag. But I did find these Levi's orange tab jeans in the bins. If you see that orange tab, guys, the last orange tab jeans I found sold for like $95 in a couple days. Finally, some luck. I looked down at a hard goods bin and look what logo I see. Fly London. I have never found these in the wild before. These were just sitting in a hard goods bin, not even a brand new bin. I was thrilled. I've also got tons of single shoes that I am looking for. And uh, isn't that always the trick? I did manage to find these gorgeous above the knee leather suede boots. Look at this moon boot, all by its lonesome. So many single shoes, guys, that I never found. Towels. There was a little baby Nike Air Max that I couldn't find for my little boy. I had to put so many of these back. There's that little baby shoe. He would have fit that perfectly. I was trying to check other people's carts and see if I could coin flip for anything, but I, I think I found one match <laughs> to all of my single shoes by the end of the day. These were some Diane von Furstenberg little espadrille slip-ons. I loved the style of this. I think it would have done well on Depop. It was vintage Kenneth Cole, genuine leather. But again, spins soulmates that just never found each other. All right guys, cart update while I'm waiting for the bathroom. I did a little bit better. I got some shoes on that rotation. But I am still looking for all of these singles, including this amazing moon boot. Oh my gosh, it's never gonna happen. Back over to the clothes. I really liked this Chaser Youth Boys um, little t-shirt. It just wasn't gonna bring me enough profit, so I did leave it behind. If my son wasn't one and a half, um, I might have kept it, but it did end up getting tossed back later on. So just still digging through, I'm definitely <laughs> starting to feel it. I, I need to get out of here pretty soon. Got to get um, up to Pennsylvania, of course, but trying to dig out any last little bit of profit as I can out of these bins. I liked this Vineyard Vines little shirt. I think this ended up being potentially a youth size. But I don't live very close to any bins locations, so when I do get to go, I try to fill my cart and stock up on some inventory. I am a part-time reseller, so I like to have inventory accessible to me to list as I can because I do this in my spare time. I did have fun just getting to experience a different bins location. Every location just seems to have its own energy and culture and people. I had a lot of fun talking to some of the other resellers here while I was waiting for all of these bins switch outs. I liked the boho-ness of this shirt, but I looked it up and I didn't really think it was going to sell well, but it was a very cute um, style for sure. Somebody would look really cute in that. You guys are never going to believe what I found in the hard goods bin. Right here. These looked so pretty. OMG.
Cart's definitely full. It's just time to throw back all the shoes I couldn't find. Okay guys, it is officially now five o'clock. I think the store closes in like an hour, but I have been here since noon and I'm exhausted. I was going to go work out after this, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So what I was not expecting was this bin's location. Every hour they swap half of the store. So for one hour they will do the hard goods and the next hour they will do the clothes. They make you stand behind this big red line as you saw and then you kind of run up to it. But like oftentimes the things are just in bags and you have to hope that you get a bag that there's something good in those. So I a couple times were able to get some bags and I was like yes this is gonna be awesome and I don't know if I kept anything out of those bags. I also am just so sad about all of those single shoes but that is okay. So for everything I got, I ended up spending $81.12 for 48 pounds. It's not too bad. This is cheaper than a lot of the other bins locations by now, which is great. But I do have an entire cart of stuff to resell and then a few things for myself and my family. So if you want to see everything that I got, you saw a lot of it in the shop with me footage, but trust me, there is way more in here that I did not get on camera because I wasn't sure how they felt about filming. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that wasn't absolutely too chaotic and I was able to splice some clips together. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this haul upcoming on my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.